Welcome to Housekeeping Operations 101 on MOOC. I'm glad you are here. Today's lesson is going to be planning and evaluating housekeeping operations. Objectives of today's lesson will be to understand the accommodation product, to know the hotel guest expectations, and to understand the various types of rooms. Unless we know what the room is made of, we will not be able to take care of the housekeeping operations, right? So let's move on. The accommodation product, which is the basic product of a hotel, is the room. The accommodation product the room unit is complex and not eternal. It's divided into two main parts, the material side, which is what we see, the layer of the room, the furniture and the decoration, which is all the tangible parts of the room and the immaterial side which is intangible that are the services provided in the room and in the hotel. The room unit, the main areas of the room unit are the bedroom and the bathroom. The bedroom comprises of the bed unit, furniture, lighting and other features. They are very simple but still we need to know. So that's why I'm throwing some light on all these features. Just let's proceed further. The bed unit has a divan, which is the base of the bed, the mattress and the mattress pad, pillows and headboard. Headboard is the beauty of the bed. Bedside table has a telephone, a memo pad, advertising material such as any promotional material of the hotel and any discounts offered at the bar, the happy hours, all such material are displayed at the bedside table and the bedside lamp of course. The furniture. Furniture is important part of the room, the writing table, the chair, cupboard, wardrobe and the luggage rack. Of course, furniture comes in various features and models and colors just to suit the hotel's theme. The lighting play a very vital role in the room's atmosphere. So we have atmospheric lights and the bedside lights. The other features of the room are the curtains, day and night curtains, the television, air conditioner, telephone, minibar which is a mini fridge with some tidbits in it and the room console. So these are the main features of the room and let's get over to the bathroom. This is also an important feature of the bedroom. The bathroom comprises of bathtub, the tiling wall and the shower area. The toilet unit which is comprised of the water tank the toilet seat cover, the toilet seat, the outer bowl and the inner bowl. We definitely need to know the individual parts of every single component of the room which would enable us to communicate with the maintenance just in case of any engineering services required. That's why we have to go in detail. The vanity counter. This is the most beautiful part of the bathroom. It comprises of the mirror as you see here, the wall, the countertop which is this and your wash basin. The next one is the features of the room which is the guest room amenities. When you talk about amenities, most probably you will be thinking of the toiletries, the coffee amenities, but the room amenities from the hotel point of view has been categorized into three major categories which are the guest expendables, guest essentials and the guest loan items. The guest expendables are the items. I think you and I, whenever we stay in a hotel, will bring back a lot of toiletries, maybe sometimes the coffee amenities too. So these are called as the guest expendables, the toiletries, the coffee amenities and the shoe mitts. The guest essential are items that are provided in the room which the guests can use during their stay in the hotel but cannot take it back along with them, such as hangers ice bucket, coffee maker and so on. Of course, ashtrays also come under the guest essential categories. The guest loan items are iron and board adapter, which means these are not provided in the room, are not available in the room, but upon request shall be provided. So these are the guest room amenities. Moving further, the most important people in a hotel, which makes or keeps the business ongoing is the hotel guest. Hotels attract different types of guests and each type of guest have different set of needs which you and I know. To provide high standard of service to the guests, 
The front office must identify the expectations of the various types of guests who are patronizing them. That's why they always brand themselves as commercial hotel, resort hotels, business class hotel, and resorts, and holiday hotels. It all depends upon the type of guests who patronize their hotel. As a hotelier, we should be able to provide to the guest needs when they travel. Basically, irrespective of the hotel brand or the country the hotel is located or the category of a hotel, the guest expectations are all the same. Four basic guest expectations and what are they? First one is comfort, security, privacy and convenience. Housekeeping is in charge of comfort and hygiene of the room. Security is basically monitored by the control of keys, the CCTV, double locking system for the doors, fire exit layout and etc. Privacy, this is the most important feature any guest would expect from any hotel. Guest requires absolute privacy in his or her room so as not to be disturbed by anyone. That's why you always have the DND, the do not disturb sign on the door. Convenience is basically the entertainment, the special services, the F&B should be available to the guest F&B as in the food and beverage which is comprising of the room service and so on. So these are the various components of housekeeping operations 101 topic 1. We shall meet in topic 2 again. Thank you.